Hi there everyone, Mark Kentwell here with an answer to a very important question we ask, get asked by buyers a lot, especially in an active market like we've been in lately. How do I avoid being gazumped on the property that I'm looking to purchase? Well, the simple answer to that is you exchange contracts. Now, exchanging contracts is where you take the contract for sale, the vendor takes a contract for sale, it's got all the terms and conditions, the price, and your details on it as a buyer. You sign it, the vendor signs it, you pay your deposit, and the contracts are exchanged and dated. And you take the contracts to the respective parties and you hold on to those. But in New South Wales in 2001, or around about that time, don't quote me on the exact date, the anti gazumping clause, as they affectionately termed it, was brought into place to allow you to exchange contracts and still have a five day cooling off period, five working days that is. Now that allows you time to get your pest and billing reports done, finance if applicable, and all the other due diligence that you might require, and a bit of time to think about whether you definitely want to go ahead with this purchase before you commit your full 10% of the purchase price or whatever the deposit might be. Now, they ask for a quarter of a percent to be left behind, which is a fair and reasonable amount, really, when you think about that the owners could be missing out on other buyers, have advertising costs, have legal costs, have mortgage repayments. So on a $400,000 property, it's just $1,000 you're leaving behind. Now, no one wants you to tear up your $1,000, but it would only be if there was a substantial issue with pest and building reports or finance, which you couldn't get over. So with pest and building reports, we find a lot of the time you can negotiate a little bit off the price with the owners if there's a big problem, or get them to fix the issues, or if it can't be reached, an accommodation can't be reached, then you can pull out of the sale and lose only a thousand instead of your forty thousand dollar deposit in the case of a ten percent deposit on a four hundred thousand dollar sale. With the finance, obviously you've been told in advance that you're a good chance at finance. If things fall over, you might be able to negotiate an extension on time to speak to another bank or to negotiate some different terms. But again, if you pull out, $1,000 would be left behind. Now, this is a way to secure it and lock the owners in because they're locked in and you're not. It also means other buyers can't come along and go over the top of you. The agents are left in a very awkward position if you do delay in exchanging your contracts and decide to do pest building and finance first. A week could go down the track and you might find that a buyer that's already been through the property or a buyer who's just been told they've missed out on the property or a new buyer that's come along has made an offer and if it's substantially more than the other offer, of course the owner has the right to consider it. Because it's on the market to the exchange and you haven't committed anything financially at that point to say that I'm not going to pull out of this sale. And the agent has to submit all offers to the owner. We don't aim to gazump people, that's not what we want to do. In fact, we try and square away all the interest before we accept one buyer's offer over another. But like I said in an earlier segment that you'll see on here, there's three things that a vendor will consider. They'll consider the price, the terms and the speed at which you're prepared to move. And you have total control over all of those things. So if things are uh, looking like they're going a bit slow, the agent can actually help right from day one. We can help you exchange the contract on the day that you've had your offer accepted. We're authorized to do that in New South Wales and all of our PRD agents are uh, well versed in exchange and have been trained in it. But if you want us to work in with your solicitor and have it done in their office, that's absolutely fine as well. We'll give them all the information they need so you can move very swiftly and secure that property. I hope this has been helpful for you, a helpful three and a half minutes to save you a lot of heartache. If you've got any further questions, just come and have a talk to us anytime.